So, I bought a Nexus Pro X, very cool blaster, um, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. This is a PSA, um, as this is a very common thing that people do with any blaster with retractable stock. Um, what we do is we take a piece of PVC, I happen to have this thing laying around, it's the good length, we just throw it in the stock, and now the stock doesn't move as much, and it's more sturdy, uh, pushing it into your shoulder. Don't do that. Um, at least not with the stock that this thing comes with. Because the Nexus Pro X stock works differently than a regular buffer tube stock. The little piece right here, as you can see, I had to cut open. There is a small lip that protrudes off the bottom of it that catches on a small shelf that's on the buffer tube. So the stock actually needs this little bit of wiggle room so that the little ledge can come out from under the shelf. So when it's all the way, when you pull it all the way back, Normally you would not be able to press the button. You have to push it forward slightly, then press the button to remove the stock. When you put the PVC in there, it does not allow the stock to move forward and your stock is stuck. That's why I had to cut the thing. Um, so I have since cut the ledge off. Um, you could try cutting this, but this does not have screws to take the stock apart. So you really just have to uh, mangle the thing which is very unfortunate. I got this thing yesterday um, and I've already had to cut it. Um, also of note, if you do decide to do that, um, that ledge does prevent the stock from just coming off when you pull. So my stock now does not catch at the end. Um, so there are trade-offs to doing this. Just putting that out there so that you don't have to cut your Nexus Pro X stock. Don't put PVC in the stock. Um, it should work with a regular uh, buffer tube stock because it is just a just a pin that goes up and down. But this one has the little lip that will prevent that. So that is pretty much it. Um, yeah. Don't do what I did.